put a motion on the floor for those minutes. We're trying to get rid of these minutes in one fell swoop. One, two, three, four, five, six. I make a motion to accept the is, minutes as uh -huh. printed or whatever. And I need you to vote, Mary. I'm not sure. Okay. Them, um, need a second or? They were submitted. They, you know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I've actually seen them though. Right? Did they not get well, sent out? Well, I mean, or? that was something we talked about last time. Whether right. people had access to where things. Do we not were. feel comfortable doing them? Well, like I just. I'm happy to say yes, but I just actually have never seen them, I don't think. So Okay, we can wait another weird. We'll, we'll wait another look at and I'll see if I can. Or do you have do we have right copies now. of them? We can no, it's like not worth it's not worth the time. Okay. Right now. Yeah. They're so let of, me um I will bring get make sure you guys get just feels like or, yeah, probably or, or, or like we got and if we're missing the minutes something, this we'll time shame error. I mean into when we got the agenda yeah. this time ahead of the meeting know. if we Tacked just on. had the files <clears throat> to the invitation I yeah because Mary them. puts them all in a folder yeah. I have an email yeah. from her that I guess it's in a folder and and Not. like when looking at minutes you know it's my first time as a secretary so if there's anything that needs to be changed or is weird or something you know I try yeah, to keep no. them pretty simple Oh, well, we appreciate the that. motions and, and the that's really votes. all you're supposed to do is yeah. technically is figure out who's here and then any actual action we take. Yeah, that's been my you can't the advice the whole I got discussion. was to not really yeah. include the discussion. Mm -hmm. so. It's all good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should Mary, you do you that? have a folder of the um, of the minutes someplace? So I got the minutes blind copy sent to me. Yes. You sent it to me, Mary, once. Uh, if, if I do have anything, it would be in what our are the dates looking for? explanation point community engagement was folder. The earliest? Okay, well, we're not, I'm not going to look at that. I'm surprised there's wanted, this many. I, I think we use the time. did some oh, of those. We did some of them last time. July 23rd, we've got three sets of minutes. July we got 23rd May 16th, is we got not. May 30th, and then we've got June 13th. Oh, Andrew's coming. Three, we got three sets. I don't so think that folder oh, has the okay. minutes. Can I get both of them on FaceTime at the same time, or he has to call somebody else? Mm, yes, I think. I think can. he can. He has to join. Answer. Call. Usually, Just if answer. It, it, you can join. I, I could try to set up a Google meet too. Um, well, and maybe I can. I, I'll talk to him. We could just do it next time. Andrew. Yeah. yeah. I, I, hey. I mean, I so yeah, nobody can get into the meeting. Um, so we're going to have to do this by phone. Mary's also on the phone. I think if I get her on FaceTime that I can Crystal. add you. Oh, Christy. Christy, yes. thank you. So I have you both, or do you want to call somebody else? Um, you can call somebody else at the meeting. Um, would you okay. like me to open a new Google Meet? All right, let me, um, hmm. Let's just do it. Okay. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll. I can do it if you can. Do you want to do it since you yeah, have this machine? Yeah, let's Andrew's oh, let me see if I can let you in, because I wasn't even doing that much before. Someone who wants... Oh, Andrew, I can admit Andrew. Ha! All right. And there he is. Ha! Let me try inviting Nancy. I'm wondering if... I'm going to hang up. Um, I'm wondering if... Let's see. I'm going to try to get Mary to try the link again. Okay. If you want to see what you can do about Nancy. Okay, Mary. Yeah, and Mary and um, Andrew. So are well versed in this community survey. So I'm going to keep going, Andrew. Okay. Okay. So I have two paper copies. It's quite long. If you don't, you should have it on your. Um, Computers, but if you want, well, I just <coughs> excuse me, grabbed a couple and thought we would do that. So we have been working on this every other day for another couple, three weeks, and I think it's where we want it to be. There's one place, and I have a um, a call or an email into the Royalton town clerk, who is also the Red town clerk. Mm -hmm. And she was going to get back to me by yesterday afternoon, and I just didn't want to bug her. She was just so nice about it. But there's on page, um, the voting. well, six. It's in the voting and decision-making <coughs> section, which is not too far in. 
Mm -hmm. um, maybe the second oh, section. The dates. There's a couple of blanks. Yep. Yes. There were just um, references to the number of registered uh, district voters that had voted on the budget at the town meetings. It's section So three. I just felt like it was good numbers to have, and we'll get them. Yeah. Um, I did also talk to, uh, and Mary helped me, she put me in contact with Kate, I think Kate McLean, does that sound? Is that right, Amber? Somebody? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. she's some kind of communications person at the SU. Mm -hmm. And so we have designed a postcard that will have a QR code mm -hmm. that will link it to the community survey. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I, we can officially say that the community survey is ready to roll, um, then we'll get a link for it, and she will put that whole process in place. And what I asked her was, um, how long, what's the timeline between my getting you the final um, uh, survey, the link, what's the timeline of getting that to the printers and then ultimately mailed and in the hands of um, the citizens? And she said um, seven to ten days. The whole report and all of that has been postponed to the middle of October. That was so my we have next a little question. bit of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not like, Rah! yeah. <laughs> but I'll be doing that anyway. I'll be in <laughs> Wyoming for two weeks. <laughs> well, we will track you down. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Let me let me see. Let me get Mary back on. Not working yet. Okay. Let's just get her back on Facetime. You have any luck with Nancy? Um, I just texted her a few times. I haven't heard back from her. Well, we'll give her another. Oh, that's phone number. <laughs> I'll put her here. All right, you're back. Andrew, for some reason or other, was with my permission, was able to get in. So we thought maybe it was working. So, but now we're working on Nancy. So anyway, it's seven to ten days, and what I'm looking for in that one is well, a couple of things. Is are we ready to roll? And part of that might be just on. Um, you know, checking for your favorite questions. Um, and, uh, and then the other piece is, is that enough in terms of uh, how we contact the, um, the townspeople? Mm. These are the community members. This is bigger than the family. <clears throat> A mailing. Mm -hmm. A mailing. Yep. Yeah. And then they'll also be on the card that if a person wants a paper copy um, to contact the uh, White River Valley High School slash elementary school or whatever. Is it Kendra that's going to Kendra. With that phone number. And anyway, so those packets with self-addressed stamped Kendra. envelopes for those who would prefer that will. So far, no one's contacted her for the family survey. So. Okay. 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 Yeah, I wouldn't get a whole bunch of them, but I think. No. Right. A couple of them, would be. but yeah. so that's we're getting ahead of ourselves because the family survey is kind of exciting. But um, mm -hmm. so anyway, that's. Well, um, what about putting in the Herald? Like I know we're mailing it, but like mm -hmm. our front porch forum was the other. Yeah. One I wondered. Mm -hmm. What about South Royalton billboard or whatever those things? But are? both of those. Can you hear the audience? Here? But yes. Yeah. Okay. No, I definitely think we should post it on Facebook and Front Porch Forums and wherever or else. Or maybe just post it on our Facebook and then people can re yeah. post yeah. it wherever yeah. they share it or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good idea. Oh, okay. So, I, 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 yeah, I think that some of the questions about being a second homeowner, like I just worry about mailings. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. people might follow Facebook but not be here all the time. Yeah. Maybe out in Wyoming or wherever they go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, <laughs> <laughs> traveling. Oh, wow. Are the settings set so that more than one person, or you can fill it out more than once from the same address? Do you know? Well, that was one of the questions actually that Andrew and I were talking about that we were going to bring back here too, which is we have not required email addresses in the past and on the other surveys, but should we ask for them here? And I think. I think that's something to consider because this is different. It's voluntary. Not, you can give it if you want. Or well, not. and they're not directly connected with with the school. You know, we're working. Yeah. They're not employed right. or right. kids uh, here. Right. Until this point, we've had captive audience people. You know, either you work here, you're right. And then you get you're, you're sent so kids you know here, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, asking for email addresses because 
to, to filter the respondents in some way? Is that what I don't understand? I think oh. the goal would be to make sure that there's only one respondent per, or one response per person. Right. So someone doesn't so, stack it or whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. Like a robo like response or somebody just figures that out and. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. And you, you have to ha collect emails if you're going to limit it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, somebody in it. Are you in it? The committee's yeah. 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 But I don't know. If, do we want I to have that? I'm actually sure. maybe need survey. I can change it. Mary, can you hear us? Mary, can you yeah. hear? Okay. I don't know how to change that. It just takes me a second. It's under to settings. Undo. Do you want me oh, to that's change okay. it or not? Do you want collect, so collect email addresses? Emails. I actually don't know what, there's two different options, verified and responder input, and I don't know what that is. So I don't think we want the verified one because I think that that requires a um, Google ah. email address. Yeah, it says, so the responder input says respondents will manually enter their email response. Yeah. And can we have, we can allow them to edit their responses? Yeah? Responses yeah. can be changed? Whereas I can't change the survey. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's fine. I think the limit to one response, I think we don't want checked in because it also requires them to be signed in. Oh, well then what's the point of collecting email? Because if we get one that has, like if we look at the responses and there's one, like seven responses for, you know, arjones at gmail.com. Ah, we can delete six. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. Like if we don't collect anything, then there's kind of no way to try and filter it. Right, but it's a way to peel back the onion kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah, if somebody has too much time on their hands and decides they want yeah. to be a poop. Yeah. Which happens. Yeah. So, okay. I mean. um, okay, let's change. So, what were we saying about Facebook, about putting it on the school Facebook pages? Yeah, yeah I think so. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I apologize, but I am a little worried about collecting email addresses. Because I got to say, when I, when I just filled out the family one, um, when I logged into it, it said we don't put it. We won't collect your email address. This oh. is this is totally a um, you know anonymous survey. Oh, yeah. But because okay. I'm logged into the system, like it showed my email address, and mm -hmm. I was concerned, like is this really anonymous? And then mm -hmm. and I and I, no, I didn't like, and I automatically felt how can I answer honestly mm -hmm. if this is not anonymous. Mm -hmm. And so it makes me worry about collecting email addresses okay. and people not feeling right. like they can answer honestly anymore because it's not anonymous anymore. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, we could say something when we're collecting them or something at the beginning saying email addresses are collected to limit responses to one or, you know, something that's a little more eloquent than that. But we, you know, answers will be anonymized before looking at the results or something like that. You gotta trust, though. <laughs> yeah, I know you do have to trust. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's I mean, fine. I mean, may, uh, some sort of reassurance. Big brother is watching. Do well, you think yeah. that yours came on because, do you have a WRVS? Whatever that is. Well, no, yeah. but I, some, I, I think even though Super when they're nice. anonymous, it shows your no. email, I think. It just showed, I think because I'm lo because I logged in to work on these yeah. with you guys, yeah. that when I went to fill out the survey, it, it I was logged it. into the system, so it showed my email address there. But it says, we're not collecting email addresses, and there's like a little... I didn't look into it further. There was like a little envelope with like an X on it, which I think is saying like, we're not collecting your email address or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at it closely, but but um, that wasn't my concern. It's just the going through that emotional process right. of saying like, right. oh, this is not, is it anonymous? You know, mm -hmm. like, do I feel comfortable? Somebody coming knocking on your door? <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yep. yeah. Obviously yeah. it's not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so it's a concern. I don't. I don't. I don't want. I, so some sort of reassurance for people that the email addresses are being collected for one specific purpose, or um, 
and, and I don't, I don't, I'm not technical, so I don't know how effective that, that the email address really would even be. I know as somebody who doesn't know anything, I have five or six email addresses floating out there. <laughs> Log in on that. And it yeah. would take a long time for someone to go through all these surveys and check if which email addresses were legitimate and where That's they even true. went, because they're, you know. Well, I don't, this isn't a truly scientific yeah. survey. No. So. no. And it's, so, so I think it serves a purpose as a somewhat of a deterrent, right? Um, so, so it, well, if we're gonna, it, it requires trust. We could do it from the other side and put on the thing that, you know, this is the intent of this survey is to be filled out once, and we want, however we want to right. say it, and we right. trust that people will will honor that. Right. Yeah. My worry is that we get to the end and we have like three thousand responses. Right. And. Uh -huh. well, it's clear somebody was doing something, and we have no way of knowing which of the legitimate responses. And then we throw it all away, and then no one's ever going to want to fill out a survey again. Right. 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 Well, That's painful. I guess that in today's <laughs> in today's robocall, robo automated, somebody smarter than wait till you even get to Medicare. Right? Us, mm -hmm. us brains world. You know, like you all, a couple of you are much more than I, but I'm getting there. But you know, like there's. People out there that have nothing but time or whatever on their hands. So, mm -hmm. everyone who calls about Medicare has an accent. Um, mm -hmm. Is somebody who's their cell phone available for Nancy to call if she's not able to get the? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah whatever. Yep. What, what number should I give her? Sure. Andrew or Emily? Who cares? I don't care. Uh, eight zero two three five three nine one one two. Three nine nine one two. Hold on. Three five three nine one one two. Oh, you have nine one one. I'm nine one one two. Jim's nine one one three. Did you get that? Eight zero two three five three nine one one two. Thank you. So I don't know where uh, we're I just hit Andrew Bowen. <laughs> 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 he landed. So if I, since I brought this up, I feel like to kind of bring it to, for, for in, my, in my opinion, I think that I see that the, the you know, that the asking for the email address is the lesser of two evils, okay. as opposed to like negating the whole process if somebody, you know. And so if when we ask for the email address, we could say, this is only to make sure that we get one response. That's what person. he was saying. We'll put a little yeah, blurb yeah, in. Yeah, I there. think that that covers. Yeah, it. we'll so we'll front, front load a blurb and. Yep. And this is why you won't be okay. contacted, and this yeah. is anonymous, or you know. So I think that's great. Thank you. Thanks for addressing. No, thanks for bringing guys. it up. That's yeah. why it's good to talk through. I mean, if we don't want to do email addresses, we could do like physical addresses, um, and you know that makes it not anonymous as well. But right. I don't know. I mean, well, a lot of email addresses you yeah. don't have people's names in them, yeah. too. I, I mean, mine is my name. I think the thing that you're sending it from or the account is more apt to... Right. I was just thinking, like, if it was an actual physical address, right. like, you know, you could see somebody... Well, I'd like, be less inclined. If, if somebody that. really wanted to, they could like, have a random email address, address generator just generate a bunch of crap. Whereas, you know, if they put in a bunch of crap, physical addresses, we could actually check them against something. Pretty easily. Whatever. All right. All right, I'll work on some verbiage and run it by some people and see what goes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, but we were saying Facebook, Front Porch Forum, and then we are going to collect emails, but we need a explanation in the, I mean, if we can put it in the, um, I think we also said the Herald, which is the local. In the, uh, survey as well as on the um, on the card. Nancy's right there. Oh. Nancy! Hey. Hey. Yes. Hello, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hello, hello! I don't know. That's great. I don't know. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It took me so long. I gave up and, and I'm eating dinner. Um, I'm turning off the camera so you don't have to watch me eat it. There. We have brownies. Yeah, yeah we're, we're good. good. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> okay, and then do we want to do something with the Herald? 
I think so. I think so. Why yeah. not, right? Can the little um, whatever thing be in there and they just Why not? That'd be amazing. You are? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if we could just put it in as like a little oh, ad or money something. Money for an ad. Just article? like the postcard, basically. Mm -hmm. Or I wonder about talk like if we talk to somebody at the Herald whether they want to write a story about yeah. this. Yeah. Well, yeah. do I have a contact for you? <laughs> <laughs> do we have a student Uzi? Well, we have a student Uzi, but we also have a Kim. lovely woman too. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, mm. personally, I never read the ads, so. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just put a big old wildcat on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. One of you techies could figure out how to make a wildcat QRI code. I know you could. It's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. That's All right, I will check on that. Yeah, because there is a certain group of people that, you know, read the, the put it next to the, Athletics in the back. Yeah. Who won Skinny this paper or whatever? Days. You know? Sounds you know like somebody else should do this. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody yeah. raising their hand for this yeah. one? Isabel Dreyer is who I spoke to most recently from there. Oh, okay. What's her name? Yeah? yeah. Isabel Dreyer. Um, Kate McLean can help get it on to Facebook and all the. Oh, those were the two days I okay. avoided. Do you um, like the plague? And it may be worth asking Kate about Front Porch Forum. Yep, that's on the list. Okay. Okay, I'll put her on it. Awesome. I have to call her tomorrow anyway. Okay, any other questions about the survey itself? Well, is there anybody that's going to look at it between? I mean, I can hold it until Monday. Oh, people like were going to actually go through it. I mean, check oh, all that specific things. All that apply on. Yeah. Okay. But I just don't want to take. We've got other things we need to do to take. That'll take the entire hour and a half, sure. and then some. And we went through. We've added quite a bit, but we went through a lot of it. And I honestly, I can't. I don't know what we added. You know what was on it the first time and what wasn't. Yeah. So there's no efficient way to do it. I think it looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Because what I prefer is to be able to close this down and I mean I'll I'll contact get it all sent out so we only it, have data get it to rolling work with tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or at least get it off our plates tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably won't get to it till Monday, but I can get on her list, so if that works. And I mean we can also if we have other thoughts about how to contact people, this is not necessarily a definitive list. I mean we can Oh, what if we do this, you know, mm -hmm. or blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I think those are the main things, so, yeah. So w one of my few questions, and it may be like um, outing myself as being uninformed, was about the Australian ballot thing. Mm -hmm. and, um, why, has that been proposed? What, how did it come up? Or we, is it coming up here first? No, it comes up every town meeting, it feels okay. like, or every school budget meeting, or school vote. It's like, how do we get this to move? We didn't know about it. We thought we could vote all day. No, it, it Why has can't to happen we vote from all the day? floor. I heard that. I but it has to all come started. from, like, I don't think people understand the process. And then it like, all of a sudden it smacks us in the face every year again. And it's like, why, is, why can't we vote? So, well, okay. and it takes a warned vote. Mm -hmm to make that change. So you bring it up at town meeting, you have to wait till the next town meeting to get the warning, unless there's a special meeting or something in between for a bond vote. Right. <laughs> or something you can slip it into. But um, the, uh, yeah, so it, you know, it's almost a two year process to get it changed. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it makes people crazy. Okay, so I, that, that's helpful, thanks. I think they all make it, everything makes everyone crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Both sides, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think, you know, attendance has been a, a you know, a challenge w before mergers. Mm -hmm. And then with the merger, what, if you have those meetings, if you have the school district meeting on town meeting, you go to your town meeting and then you may stay put one year mm -hmm. for the school district meeting or you may have to get in your car and drive to another town for the school district meeting and people just don't. Right. Yeah. Well, and ours so, switches campuses every year. Right, every, 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 every you every get to stay whatever, put sometimes, so, you know, and sometimes you have to go. Yeah. So, one, yeah. Like, um, so it's not it's like easy it wasn't a challenge. Go to the place with the bad symbol Royals over it, and, and yeah. you know, that's where you go vote. You and, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think this section is, is kind of 
talking about how we can increase participation. And, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, there's different ways. There's you know, just getting the word out more. There's um, changing the day that, or time that we do it, and there's switching to Australian bound. So it's kind of presenting all the options. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the paragraph was kind of intended to present kind of the pros and cons of switching before asking people to weigh in. Yeah, I felt like the paragraph did a really good job of that. That was great. Yes. Yeah. I have a question about just looking through it. Um, there's a question, what section is this? Section six about the like elementary schools versus, you know, cl- cl- maintaining them in each town or not. And there's a question that says, it is more important to save money than maintain elementary schools in each town. Do we have clear data that we would actually save money by consolidating elementary schools? I think you would need less personnel. But you need... You wouldn't need I don't know if we have the data, though. I like, mean, I think we could put it together, but I, I don't think you would need two school counselors. But you would need more athletic fields. You would need... For elementary change it. No, no, for the... No, because school. if they were already in Bethel, you would only need what you have. What? So, you mean I, oh, I see. Because your middle school, school, high school, yeah, place. like you, there, there are barely enough athletic fields, for example, which is very important to people. We had enough school. athletic fields when it was a K to twelve school in Bethel, though, and it was middle school and high school in one place. But we were tiny. Now it's bigger. Yeah. What, well, Andrew? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I there is that question, but I think that the reasons to consolidate would be either we would save money or we'd be able to, you know, combine have bigger classes and be able to offer kind of more resources mm-hmm. to their te- teachers and you know same reason why we want to consolidate the middle schools and high schools so that's why it was kind of phrased that way it's like I, you know we have one which is we need to maintain the, ele- the separate elementary schools and then there was the no i'd rather save money or no i'd rather provide more educational opportunities i just don't know if it's clear that you'd really save money so yeah. to so me they seem like leading what we questions. could do is rephrase it it would be more important to save money. So, like, not saying yeah. that it would. That, that would work better for me. Yeah, mm. yeah that's yeah. a good, Emily. simple change. Uh, I just is someone else in there? Or, like, it the would be it. more... I'm on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are you on it? Okay. Um, yeah. It's on six, I think. And I guess you... Yeah. Are you going to change it for seven as well, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, because se- seven wasn't super clear to me. I had a question on that too, like, um, um, or whatever number. Sorry, I might have the wrong number. Increase opportunities for students and staff. Um, I don't really. I guess I that that phrase, increase opportunities for students and staff, is not clear to me. And I see now when you explain it that it's like meant to be sort of um, connected to the question before in a way like it's it's one or the other kind of um, yeah I mean it's not like it's one or the other it's more uh, yeah you know, alternate what your priorities be. are um, so maybe it's increased opportunities for student and staff I, I don't I don't know if that's clear enough what that means um, or like how that would change what, yeah. yeah. Well, it would for students. I mean, kids would be in classes with kids from other towns, so you you may have opportunities to not be with the same group of kids for six, five, five six years. years and with no options. Um, there are opportunities that come with both, though, right? Like both right. scenarios. There are opportunities. I mean, to that is an example of an opportunity that yes, an additional opportunity. Yeah. So. Yeah. That you don't have. Yeah, I mean, but you I know, like, going through, there was a number of times where, you know, we'd be trying to get more enrichment for our kid, and, like, if they're the only one that is getting that sort of thing, then it's hard to get that support. Whereas if you have more students, then maybe there's more opportunities and to personalize things mm-hmm. because dealing with just one yeah. person. Maybe if there was just, if there were a couple, like, such as, yeah, just a couple, like, vague examples that would help me wrap my mind around it. I, I'm assuming that if I, that if it's not clear to me, it'll not be clear to someone else. 
And that that's quite an assumption. <laughs> I heard that at home from my husband, who was like, "What are these? What does this phrase mean?" And I was like, "Well, that means blah blah blah." And he was like, "I don't know that. I'm not right. in education. Right? <laughs> yeah. Place based True. education. Yeah. What the yeah. heck is that?" Yeah. 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 Right. And I, yeah. So I think I can play that role. Mm-hmm. Of the not in the well, question. what if we <laughs> rephrased it as like rather than saying it would be more important to save money than to maintain elementary schools in each town. Um, maybe saying if combining elementary schools would save money, yep. that would be more important than maintaining. And then we could say if combining yep. elementary schools would provide mm. a better educational experience, or I don't like what I'm not exactly sure what how to phrase that thing, or provide more resources for students and staff. That be a better. Mm. Yeah. That's 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 clearer to me. I like the if part that you know it, it it's it's as good if not better than it would be. Mm-hmm. Personally, we add that whole first that last question in front of these just so it's not assumed. It is still important or what or important to maintain an elementary school in each town. Um, if it's not still important to maintain each town. No, I just changed that like that. Fixed it. Never mind. One of the things I was wondering about um, is the uh, the ramification of combining the elementary schools. That means that the middle school gets absorbed into the high school, mm-hmm. and the middle school will no longer function as a middle school. And I don't see that being represented on this. I mean. They, I think it would be similar to the way the elementary school and the high school is now, where you have them in separate wings, so they'd be in the same place. But, yeah. uh, but it, my experience is that as soon as you put a middle school and a high school together, that means shared staff. You're not going to be sharing staff with an elementary school, but with yeah, a high school. we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're actually proficient at sharing yeah. with everybody. <laughs> well, we do it. Yeah, I mean, so... <laughs> I think one of the things to put that this is about is more, it's more about whether it's important to have the elementary school separate, because that was like a clear, during the merger, that was a clear sentiment. So I don't want to bring the middle school into this, I don't think, partially because, you know, it's not like this is the actual book. If we were to eventually actually look at this because people want it, Mm -hmm. then there would be a whole study committee process, there would be like clear proposal and then we'd have to vote on it like there would be a long process that would actually make it happen Mm -hmm. so um i don't think we need to get into all the details i think this is just like a broad sentiment should we maintain that separate elementary schools it's important to have an elementary school in each town which i think people feel um (laughs) so you know we'll see Mm. but i don't think we need to get into all the nitty-gritty details okay yeah, I would agree. It's not it's not a decision making document. It's just information at this point. Um, um, I just have one question okay. on section five. Um, Whoops! Can I hold you before well, you change? No, go ahead, Andrew. Can you work on those two? I think yeah. he already fixed okay. them. He fixed one. Still, one. I have one slip in the paper. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> oh, on on section five, um, it says you know indicate what type of school function. Um, you used in a you know play blah 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 concert and the, the other well it has some um, ice cream social but should we put um, open house and then other or does the other cover open house should it be ice cream social slash open house, open house? I mean does it need to, does it, how important is that that those are like well no but I mean if you're trying to figure out what things people have attended or you're trying to invite them into our buildings in the time we Probably including open house makes sense, right? Yeah. Is this our kind of information about schools? Indicate what type of school events you have attended. Okay. Yeah. Need to add that. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Sorry. Not doing very good. I don't know where we are. We're right here, but my paper's not taking. See you. You can't see me? No, I do. I you turned red though before. You were blue. Now you're red. Maybe that's why it's not letting me type. Uh, I, can I don't know why. I can fix the ones that are already in there. I'm not sure why I can't. 
Oh, I, mine's doing the same. Just. Oh, you know what? You just can't change oh. other. So I already got it. I'm oh, gonna... you have to add. Okay, yeah. sorry. Oh, there's options. Yeah. You have to add it, and then you can add yeah. open house. I yeah. think there now you is. see it. Player musical, sporting event, concert, informational event, ice cream social, open house. That was a little weird. It's half the month. I finished editing the elementary school's question. Okay. So. Um, and, and it looks to me, Andrew, like maybe it, that both of those questions are the same now. Maybe that's. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Did something. Yeah. <laughs> I was observing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to do things at this time of the night. Mm -hmm. There. Try that now. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. There we go. Okay. Is I feel okay. as connected to the school as I did in the past, referencing like I feel as connected to the newly merged school as I did before the merger. Is that what that really mm -hmm. is? Trying yeah, because that's confusing. Otherwise, you'd be like, well, I was more connected when my kids went there. Or, or I was whatever. more connected to my childhood school. Like yeah. what is? Yeah. yeah. So she. So what are you suggesting? Or do we? Well, it says, I feel as connected to the school as I did in the past. I guess I'm wondering if I should say, I feel as connected to the newly merged, I don't know. School should we? Now I mean, I do think right for the merger having it specifically, I feel, I feel it does seem like for anybody with students, it really depends on yeah. what age they are and like where they are in their schooling. Um, maybe we could have it be the communities are as community connected to the schools as they were before the merger, or something like that. No, that works. Yeah. The community seems as connected to the Schools. newly merged school as it was. Let's do our, our schools are okay. as connected to the communities. <laughs> the like the an as, thing, as before the merger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's going after it? I'm looking at it. Uh, see it again? The schools are as connected to the communities as they were before the merger. Yep. Yeah. Is it or schools is plural? We are one school. I know, but the one below says schools plural. So, and it should be school. Yeah, they all say schools. Why is mine not updating? It feels like I haven't hit enter yet. Yeah. There's different buildings, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Oops. That should be school. I know it feels like there schools, but. We are one district. This is not good. Why is that? They're all just looking at me instead of other people, so. Who's looking at you? Okay. I just. You don't like that? No. <laughs> I do not. You can turn <laughs> your camera off. Then you don't know they're looking at you. That's a whole different fun. <laughs> it's all right. All right. I don't know. I I think schools makes more sense to me. But yeah. I know it's one school with but different campus. buildings. But I think from a community perspective, if we say our school, people are still going to probably think like oh, the South Rutland school. Yeah. <laughs> answering it from that perspective. We almost got out of there. What does it say? And we also, Which place? the question above also says Schumacher Valley Schools have lost it. Unified school community. Mm -hmm. I think they're not. It actually says well, yeah. Schumacher Valley School Unified We use schools quite a lot. And we use campus. <laughs> it's different. Maybe it's okay to go back and forth. Yeah. It's just semantics, right? What does yeah. it say now, Andrew? It's probably true. These yep. use the school. The application. Uh, the uh, school which provides. One? That one. The one about um, our schools is as connected to the I think plural is 
more clear in yeah. this case. I understand what you're saying. Like, I know we are one school, but I think it will be more clear to people filling it out. They don't really understand that we're, well, they might not understand that we're one school. Right. Because they're different towns and different buildings, so it gets confusing. Okay. I mean, I know we're one school, but the different buildings have different missions Names. and entities. Well, yeah, they and shouldn't. Yeah. I know. They have one handbook. They have one mission. I know. I just. I. I, just, I know. It's just hard. something I do every day. So I find one it every school, day. two campuses. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, but your job is a bit schizophrenic. Right. <laughs> yeah, <if you laughs> going two directions at the same time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyways, but the so I mean technically like K through twelve is one school. It is. Okay. Pre K through twelve. Pre K through twelve. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Two campuses, one school. All right. Anything else? Right. Where you in the district? Um. Nope. Looks good. Good. Yeah, All right. looks great. Yeah, I think that definitely makes sense because I mean, the next question we list out individual schools, <laughs> and we do that in a number of other places. Yeah. So just making it readable, even though it's technically wrong. Well, I think that in and of itself, cringing. just having that conversation, <laughs> <laughs> perpetuating my is, problem, but it's Yeah, oh, or no. is, I can it's hold telling, it. but yeah. we're, you know, we're still not clear. Biting yeah. your tongue. That's yeah. a problem. It's one school system. There you yeah, go. one school system. Or one yeah. school community, but then we use the yeah. word community again, so I didn't even say that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so I will um, you know, double check it and, um, and be in touch with Kate about the, um, the postcard and keep you guys up to date on that, and then have her check into Facebook and Front Porch Forum and also um, the Herald. Oh, and then the collecting the emails, I have that down to uh, find a place to explain <coughs> that. I think uh, it might have been Andrew. Someone typed something in as we were going okay. here. Was that the, the Herald, but with a QR code that yes. they could just scan? Yeah, okay. I think, I think they might need to take the two sides of the postcard. The postcard, yeah. To send yeah. It. Just do it. Yeah. Andrew, did you put something in there about the emails? I did. I said email addresses are collected to ensure one response per person, but will be discarded after collection to ensure uh, responses are anonymous. Wait, you actually wrote will not be discarded. Do you mean no. be discarded? <laughs> <laughs> what are you really up to, Andrew? <laughs> we'll be sold after. <laughs> That's how we're gonna fund our we'll be be like it, Graceland, right? right? Up Just for sale. Your retirement plan. What is going on here? <laughs> All right. Discussion on distribution of family and community surveys. So, excuse me. I just took a bite of brownie. Um, Andrew put out the um family survey a second time and it, it almost like doubled the amount of responses well yeah it was great. great and it's gonna go out in this friday's if i get my life together did you put it on the so. facebook page as well no and i talked to the superintendent about it because that will hit more than the families and then we wouldn't be able to be sure that that will the family be answers. only family answers yeah i i think it still would be a good idea i think the more times that we can hit people up it's going to go in the newsletter. But yeah, aren't we more likely to get people, especially if that one's anonymous, like filling that one out? But we could turn email address collection on and do the same That's thing. That's true. Okay. Um, but I think like if we posted on the Facebook page and said, please only fill this out if you, you know, are a parent or guardian of a current. Well, we could do that and then say, if you are interested, if you're not, um, if you don't have family um, and you're interested in input, you know, please access the community. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we so, have the link to the family survey at the bottom of the community survey, so anybody who's going to be seeing it on Facebook will also yeah. see it. Because the family survey, if you know, it does ask you, like it kept me from going on. I got the family survey because I'm on the email blast mm -hmm. or whatever, and it didn't allow me to go on, so. 
Uh, what do you mean it didn't like, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, One of the questions says, if it's got an what, asterisk, you yeah, have to answer it. You have to answer it. I couldn't answer it because I have no children. Oh. Yeah, bit, 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 bit. You know, uh, I'm, I'm okay. an outlier in that area, uh, but I need the information got it. to get to work sometimes. Okay, that means something worked. Yes, <laughs> I was it did work. was not working. No, it was working. It wouldn't allow me in because I don't have okay. children in the school. So are people comfortable with me turning on the email address collection for the family survey just the way that we do for the survey well do we need to add i would say no because it's already been out yeah. right, six. but i don't think it's going to change anything it's just going to make uh, it so that can we just post something on facebook telling people to check the weekly newsletter for the check link the newsletter i know check that's your not email easy, check your text that it came to just like publicize it but not include the link would that be helpful be aware of if you have it so please pay attention to? I mean, again, it's going to be at the bottom of the community survey. Like, we have the link in the community survey currently. Unless yeah, we, we put it that. on the bottom. I mean, I don't oh, see I see they, what you're saying. I mean, yeah, so they could fill it out anyway. But um, hmm. but I don't see that there's any harm in, in putting the email collection in, you know, if... Yeah, I don't know. Is it going to do anything funny to it if we edit... It won't change, like it'll be, it won't change how the data comes through or something if we add in a, the email. I don't think so. Okay. I hope not. Yeah. So does that come all back days, now to you? All the things that have come. Yeah, that would be a little nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it comes back to my concern. I, I mean, I, I feel like it's, we're addressing, we would try to address it the same way. I, and I, I guess what, and I'm just to be clear, what we're talking about here is, we've asked people to fill it out. We've reminded them to fill it out. This is like a third pass mm -hmm. to try to like open the net a little further. Is that yeah. kind of the idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right. Or you know, some people might not pay attention to school emails that much, or the <laughs> texts, or whatever, and then that? they see it on Facebook and they're like, oh yeah, maybe I should. Or you know, you can. I don't know. Yeah. So why would we start now collecting? Um, email addresses if we have, you know, 70 responses that don't have them? I think just to same reason that we would collect them for the community survey. Like, we have the responses that we have, and if those don't have an email address, it's fine. This but is if we not, not getting swamped with a bunch, we want to be able to. I mean, I guess we do have the time that they're filled in, so if, you know, we could just say if we get up. 700 responses in the family survey, then we can probably delete so, all of them that came in after a certain time. Hmm. I know we're still working through this, but I'm going to add a different thing. I feel like we've worked really hard to like make sure the community survey gets out everywhere, and we're talking about how to get this family survey out a third time. I, I respectfully am going to say that I don't think we did a good as good a job to make sure we got all the staff and faculty Not surveys coming. done. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought of that earlier. That I was going to be. That. I thought South Royalton didn't. So I mean, like it was the end of the year. We tried to. Yeah. yeah. And I just wonder. I, I was. I if thought of that. If so we're going to offer this up these. again in other places, why not offer that to the staff yeah. now that it's but fresh? We do have a back. number of new people. Sorry to throw off. I know we didn't figure out the last problem, but um, or the last thing you were talking through but as I'm thinking through like it was the end of the year we were right. trying to get it done we had a deadline and then I, I think a lot of people had a lot of things on their to-do list and I think it fell off of, <laughs> I think it fell off of some people's post-it notes fell off the table yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. great yeah please put it back out to the staff yeah. yeah, yeah, that's great. We could do I, that. I thought the same thing at the start of this meeting. I was thinking, well, yeah. if, when we started talking about reissuing it, like, let's do the staff because, yeah, everybody. Okay. And it would be, I mean, I, we would say kind of the same thing. Like, if you didn't get a chance to do this last year, this is the same survey. Same survey. So don't fill out again if you did. Exactly. Right. Although that one, I did that one collect the emails? I can't remember. No, it no. did not. No. Okay. That wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. I would, yeah, yeah, that would not, not collect emails. <laughs> okay, tell them if they want to pull it out, just please indicate in a comment that it is the second time, second response. So I'm if just, they want to put in like a comment field saying, I have filled this out before, this is the second response, then we can use that for whatever kind of long form responses that they have, but not 
mm. include their oh, they just want to add to their totals and like the percentage things. Oh, yeah, I would. Or can we just edit it so they can edit their response like we did with that leather one? Was it? You can it? try. I don't know, I don't know how, how that, that right If they hit submit out. already, I don't think they're going to see. Yeah. And my yeah. guess is that um, if we turn it on after the fact, it's not going to be able to associate right. you know, back to whatever the original response was. How many faculty staff do we have in the district? Do you know? Okay. I have those numbers. Anyways, but prepare for around 75. Yeah, this isn't bad now. This is 51 that we got. That's okay. pretty good. Okay. Maybe. So are we trying to pick up, we're trying to pick up emails on the... That's 75 for everybody. Mm. We're trying to pick well. up emails on this round of the family, is that... What yeah, decided? I guess I guess it's not necessarily... Like I, if I mean, yeah. Just leave it. We'll use the, like, we have a bunch of responses. We can use the timestamps to yeah. discard responses of the... Let's just do it on the community. Well, Okay. Um, Great. If people are going to be paranoid about it, it's less apt to be the community than it might be <laughs> family. Yeah. So, so why are um, they wanting them now? <laughs> what I was thinking with this one was we're going to want to do the same thing for the community that we do for the family, where we're putting it out and then we're putting it out again and then maybe putting it out again. But we're clearly not going to want to do three postcards. So I think the one postcard, getting in the Herald, I don't know about getting into the Herald a second time or just doing it once. Um, we can certainly post it on the Facebook pages and um, front page or yeah, front page, page forum. Whatever. Like those we can do multiple times. Somebody's <laughs> front porch or porch. Porch. <laughs> porch. Side, side porch. porch. Yeah. <laughs> I think too, I mean, we have to decide when we don't necessarily have to close the survey. Like but you know, the more data there is, the more there is to to kind of go through, kind of yeah, sift and through. crunch. Yeah. And um, and then if this report is actually due in October, there's got to be time mm. to put that together. I think this most of this is going to fall on Andrew and me, and then we'll pull you guys back together, ask you to do some stuff independently, and see whether or not what we've written or reported you think, you know, jives with what you were coming away with in terms of impressions and things like that. And I'll try to keep you updated on how I'm going to approach it. Because um, otherwise, it's, it's, there's way too much information. But I, I'm not suggesting, because I think that this, um, I mean, this is, we did these surveys to, for this specific mission, but I'm looking at the data that it's bringing in and there's a whole bunch of different levels of usefulness to this to principals to teachers to um ptos to you know mary's work with the community connections all that kind of stuff so um well, even custodian buildings you know like we're you asking go, you, you know do you, do you do you see that we've improved it do you see yeah. that you know you you come in here and you know like we, we try to spend your money judiciously. You right, know. right. So, um, so you know, I think we just have to make a decision whether we cut that off at some point or that we decide as a committee that we're going to look at the data that we have, you know, as of, I'm just going to make it up, September 20th. Well, no, but <coughs> does, it, does it give us, if some data still rolls in, does it... Does it give us useful data as a whole? It's still part of the whole, even though we're, we have a cutoff. You know what I mean? Right. I think it gives. It doesn't necessarily affect the report, and right. I would have to say put that right. in the report. That, right. You know, there's, right. there's still that we we put a cutoff, but we still could. You yeah. might so you might see a trend starting to show itself. You have the cutoff, but then with the whatever comes in later might. I mean, I could peek at that stuff. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. And and make a quick. Assessment. Um, adjustment, but you know, I think in terms of the board itself, Andrew, that you know, the other things at the school level, I mean, the board is certainly um, welcome to, you know, say to Jamie that you know, that you want information coming from the schools or coming reports from the principals around, you know, what data was collected and how folks might, you know, what are your five top takeaways? I'm not telling you, try to how to do your job, but you know, so that they 
so the board has if that's what you want more access to the more specific pieces of the I think having a cutoff date would be good and I think we should include the cutoff date in whatever communications mm -hmm. we're putting out like you know mm. I went the survey the survey needs to be filled in by September 20, 20th or 27th or whatever okay it's, you know that might motivate some people to do it yeah great idea you know, things you know like yeah we aren't going to like get rid of the link so they can't spill it in after but I think that can be a cutoff time for when we're analyzing right we need we need a cutoff time for a, a committee as we're moving need to move forward yeah I got, yeah it's just practical. so I'll, I'll just be writing the report with a bunch of blanks <laughs> I guess I can't wait that long to get started um so well I would be inclined to let the community one go a little bit longer because it's not out there yet the but the family, you know, the family and the, the staff ones, this will be the second or third pass. So to say to them the 20th or the 20, today's the, yeah, yeah that's another two weeks. I mean, what it I would say with, that like, that's good. with most of the reports, like we're going to have some sort of kind of automated thing, like if you're going to be generating a report from the survey data or whatever so like we can always regenerate those if things change right um, you know you can kind of start making the report and the conclusions that we're making and then you know when it's time to put in all the graphs and stuff that's when we grab them from the data and as long as that happens after september 27th then we can have the all the surveys closed that day yeah mm -hmm. right considering that the community one you said would be a week from when we say go before it hits people's mailboxes is right that what you're saying well a week from when i give it right. to kate so that means that the earliest that it would be in people's mailboxes might be the 16th or the 17th right so it seems so it seems like i mean that Can one you could go to the first or something or? What's that? Can you just make it like October 1st or something? No, it's October 1st. That's, October that's 1st, good. okay. And the other one is October, I mean, what, September 20th? I would just do them all the same. Yeah. You'll want to give staff other time, more time, I think. You know, like, and this, then they can be brought up and staff meetings and that kind of stuff and be like hey you know like this is still out there do we want staff that are brand new this year to fill it out well Does no that's matter? that's the other thing is that like you can get a question fresh maybe. eyes on we had brand new staff last year fill it out yeah it you know matter. everybody's doesn't matter at least we are always year, have a guess, cycle of people it doesn't matter what season you do it in yeah I can't remember if we asked a question about. There is a How time question I just learned. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's like a that, that, zero yeah. to five. Yeah. Or I forget. Yeah. Less yeah. than five. Yeah. yeah. Five to ten. That way you can. Get a, well, and we give them all comment sections. A good you know, idea like how they you feel can about say, coming in and what do they see? Right. I don't know much yet, mm -hmm. but I like what I see. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, but there's, there's also <laughs> all the, the comment sections. They can just say, you know, like I'm new, new, and this I notice and that I notice or whatever. Okay, so we'll cut them all off at, on October first. Okay. Um, the family, the who's reposting the family survey? Or I think it gets. Uh, Andre, can you do it to the Facebook page? Or no, I guess. I thought I was going to do it to the newsletter. Just the newsletter, okay. I can right. I can do it if you haven't filled out your family survey yet. Check the newsletter. All right, we just did yeah. this. This went, yeah. just went out. Okay. You could tell people at open houses too. Coming up. 
Yeah. Could we have? Yeah, we a, can put some. Could we have a station? Didn't we do that with something last year? We did do that. Did we yeah. Or something? We did that with the. Uh, I forget what it was. It was the oh, survey Arthur. about. Um, yes, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. School climate survey for parents. And kids. Oh right. Yes. Yeah. So anybody have any um, <coughs> thoughts about what you read so far around the um, the faculty and staff and the student data? The student data was interesting. Like um, you could tell the a bunch of their responses was like uh, nope. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there was a uh, whole bunch of kids. Yeah, it's like yeah. Um, it's clear we did not get great representation from the high school on student survey stuff. Yeah, no, I, fact, I was pulling those numbers out. No and, one. Yeah, it's pretty small. Um, so that's kind of an oversight, I guess, or like a they're not included. Their voice. Should it be redone? Those could be. Like redone I think I well. actually, am, if I'm looking at the right thing, I don't see a single mm. person above ninth grade. Oh. Well, well, well but again, this was time. all like the, the end, end of the, the year. year. Oh, I chaos. know. I mean, I had two. Well, let's redo yeah. it and no, just not give so. it to the. <laughs> Still give it to the freshman. The freshman. Yeah. There's well, also. There, did we not send it to like to the K through five? I don't. We didn't have them do it. No. No. We, we just didn't. did middle. No. We just okay. did middle and high. Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, that would be hard. You would do the. I mean, you could definitely do. Third, fourth, and fifth, probably, but you have to modify the language. That would probably. Yeah. Yeah. But. Probably to have the high school represented a little bit would be good, right? True, I agree. But again, that was all like the end of the year chaos. We threw it at oh, them sure. right, right when yeah. school was. But probably like the faculty, I mean, should we ask them? Like they have the they have again? morning meeting or even morning when they come in in the morning and have about a half an hour to sort of settle in. It w they could do it then. I think it's only ten minutes now though. Is it? Oh. <laughs> so what were you saying about only freshmen filling it out or? Well, not freshmen because they may have filled it out last year in middle school. Right, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, we have 53 responses from uh, high school. From the high school? Maybe I'm not looking at the right thing. Like, I'm looking at. I thought yes. I was. Oh, I'm, never mind. I'm looking at the middle school specific. Sorry. Oh. Um. Yeah, I think the high school was across, but it oh, was... Oh, they're separated out, so we did them separate. Okay, I didn't yeah, ask that. Oh, well, then maybe that's fine. I don't know. Right, so but I mean, 54 out of... 254. Yeah, I think when I started to... Um, I started to break down in each grade level in school, but maybe that was... It was pretty... I mean, that rep the student data represents seven different like grade levels, so should that be. can easily get pretty thin. Ooh, excuse me, plus or minus? Plus, I think. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. If it's not a big deal for principals um, to do it either during, you know, advisories or something yeah, like that. advisory or, or... Do you have an advisory system? Yeah, yeah, like? yeah for sure. But I'm not... I, I don't know. Also, like, things change between years. Like, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter, but... I mean, we'll also be able to see... Again, I'll we see. have the timestamp when it was filled out, so if it seems like it completely messes up the data... Yeah. We can do well, something about it. I mean, one of the things that I found interesting was when I was looking at the questions around the transition between middle and high school that the... The impression yes. of that system was much more positive on the part of the teachers than it was on the part of the students. And then somebody got into sort of politicking. It's like, stop that. But um, but those kinds of things, I think, you know, not so much around the the report as you know things to respond to at the at the building level. Um, I was very excited that the. Um, the student data was so positive about having a significant adult 
yeah. in the building that they trusted yeah. and could go to. I mean, that was that was huge. Super That's positive. huge. Yeah. yeah. And um, so having a little bit more of that, I mean, it might change, you know, for the freshmen because yeah. it's it's new, but Connected. they have to say where they. Right now, those that survey says, I just. I'm finishing such and such a grade, or I just finished such mm. and such a grade. That's true. That's so true. you need to change that. So, I just also think you might get really different data from the end of the year to the beginning of the year. I just think there might well, be a lot Well, I of guess variables. that's my point of saying, like, when you're trying to throw stuff against the fan and hope it sticks, you know, like, when you're trying to do it at the end of the school year it was like uh, 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 you know and when you come at it at the beginning it feels more open and and it's a new beginning a new beginning so let's, yeah, yeah. Maybe if we do open. redo the survey with students we should probably wait a week or two to get them let them settle in a little bit well they <laughs> well, to like the first week of actual you know real classes feels like we've already been there for yeah, 160 like, days especially already. for you i'm sure <laughs> especially for you all right let's put that one on hold yeah we might have well we kind of if we're gonna do it we kind of need to make a decision well i guess that's what i was thinking like there i mean we haven't there was an email that went out today i mean i don't think we've actually issued chromebooks to middle schoolers yet so i, I think we well, have yeah. Did they? Oh, yeah. Just or, day one. Or day one. They just yeah. haven't gone home. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't read it. <laughs> so, I hadn't That's had time fair. to read it. Yeah. Could I suggest that what we do is we make a copy of the student survey, like, so that we're, and edit the question so that it's appropriate for this time period. Put out that edited survey in two weeks for anybody who didn't fill it out before. So the you survey would be different. People good with that? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a good idea. I mean, we're not shy on data, but we're not bursting at the seams with it either. So I think we're trying to just get a better sense. Yeah. Yeah, and I think if we keep all the questions the same except those the grade I just finished is we can combine the two survey datas together and have the results that way, but also can like see, that can be one of the kind of filter things that you can look at to see if the responses change radically between mm -hmm. the ones who filled it out last time and the ones who filled it out this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Can do that. All right. Anything else? Look at that QR code with a wild cat in the middle. Oh my you goodness. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. That's great. There you That's are. More to do. do. <laughs> For you. You did it? I did. I've never done one. I don't know anything. I've mostly it. wanted the wild cat in it. That's well, no, I, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Who knows no, where but it takes I, you. <laughs> Nowhere yet. Okay. Nowhere yet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So the only other thing I was thinking about was whether or not, I mean, we, we're, we're scheduled, for, we're still, you know, doing it the every other week. Um, and I just didn't know, I always feel like if one needs an, an extra meeting that it's better to put a meeting in, you know, pencil it in and then cancel it if we don't meet, that we'll, as we get closer we may want more and then it gets really difficult to get people together. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. So I was going to grab people's and their calendars and just see what we might want to do. Um, we have one the 19th mm -hmm. and then on the 3rd of October. Yep. The, the board meeting, is, the, is it the 3rd Tuesday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 24th. So that's the 15th. Oh, no, sorry, yeah. Um, oh, it's the 17th, sorry. So I'm, so I'm wondering if we want, we, we probably want one on the 10th as well. So the 3rd and the 10th the third and the 17th? And the or no, just 3rd and 10th? Because then, then it'll be moot. What's that? Make the 3rd. 
So tenth. October tenth and five thirty. I'm trying to think. Here. Oh, we switched um, so right here. Two I'm hours a, that's a good question. It's soccer season, so I'm not gonna be able to like our practices go until six thirty and on the tenth there's a game, so Okay. I'm not gonna be available basically until later. If it would be possible to go to the meetings later, I would be able to join. The 10th, I'm in Wyoming. That would be great. Later. <laughs> How it's later. Because <laughs> it's early. It's early well, and I think, I, you know, like I say, I'm not sure that everybody would, we would all we would necessarily need to meet because this is going to be more about responding to report information. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can, Going, whatever the information the is there, I can. Preparing the report. Is yeah. What you're talking about? Well, and there, I mean, there might be places. I don't know what people, where people's, um, you know, workloads are. There's probably places where other folks could contribute to the writing, or, you know, we certainly need people to. I mean, a committee ought to be reading it and and feeling good about what it says, not going to a board meeting and going, whoa, 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 that's not what. <laughs> that's mm. certainly not what it is. Mm. Um, I don't mind meeting later. I just wouldn't want to meet too much later. Like, I'm not sure if it would help you if we met at 6:30, right? Isn't a game likely to still be going, Andrew? Um. Yeah, but then I'd be able to join at like seven. You know, oh, yeah, seven fair. You know, be able to be there consistently. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Six thirty is fine with me. Thank you. Just specifically on the tenth, or in general, are we switching? I was going to say October. When does uh, soccer start? Already. <laughs> Underway. Oh, already on it. Yeah. That's right. You're not in town. Are you in town? I don't even know where you are. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. The six thirty. Of course, now we're back to school starting, so the five thirty's better for you right no this is fine everything's mm -hmm. fine <laughs> well then let's start let's start with the 19th wait the night oh, oh, oh september of uh, september. september okay, okay. Oh, i'm in october yeah. i know i'm just going sure. yeah. does that work so uh -huh. we're gonna we did that one on, yeah. so we're going to move it to 6 30 on the 19th okay. on the third it would be really super helpful if you want if you wouldn't mind sending out a calendar invite and then it would just like pop up or no yes i can I, we can all plug it into our own calendars too i just uh -huh. not to put the calendar i thought i did what, did, well, what are you asking me to do that was common let's try this again when is it going to be the next say it again oh i don't know the 19th, 19th is will september 19th at 6 30 and october 3rd and october 10th hold on okay. oh uh so the all, all the following September nineteenth is the SU board retreat. Um, so that's right. Yeah, I knew there was something happening then. So neither Nancy nor I are going to be able to make it. Mm. Do you do you go okay. to this too, Andrew? Is that just school work? Okay. Oh, we were kind of questioning whether that would be necessary anyway. That meeting that weekend. Really. Right. All right. You didn't tell him you were you were busy. Just <laughs> 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 just out on the calendar. Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll just they could up. spring them for an hour and then come back. All right. So what am I doing wrong with the calendar? Well, you're not using. I don't know what you're doing wrong actually, but I I, I think if I do it, maybe from my Gmail, it'll. So I'm still going to send it for the 19th. Third. So what time are we starting? 6:30. 6:30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the next, all the next meetings, all the meetings yeah. that are left From are 6:30. Yeah. As far as. That's just easier. Actually, Which will be September 19th, October 3rd, and October 10th. That's correct. <clears throat> yep. Yep. All right. Well, you guys done have done amazing work here. I hope you're, I mean, it got a little crazy this last month in terms of 
being scattered, but it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, looking at the results from the family survey, you know, one of the questions was about advisory committees. And I feel like what an advisory committee needs to be is basically this and just mm -hmm. going out proactively asking for mm -hmm. feedback from families and then giving that to the administration to help, you know, be an active, active engager, you know. No, that's good. Yeah. Because yeah, you might hear from the people that wouldn't go up yeah, to the yeah. administration yeah. and voice their mm -hmm. right. opinions. They're not There's everyone really likes a lot of doing stuff in that. The survey responses that you yeah. know, that way you don't have wanna, strong opinions, yeah, but yeah. you have them coming to the school board meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can be thankful for some things. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I haven't had, I since it went out the second time, I haven't really looked. But, um, I mean, you no, you guys are giving a lot, of, a lot of information here that has a lot of potential for doing some really good stuff. So let's see how we can get it into a palatable Well, and I, I think... We have a bucket full of information or data, but I, I think it has some holes. Like, we could do better, you know, like, so thus we're putting it out again. So, oh, I mean, you know, it it's just, we we were hemmed in by, you know, when we started and what we accomplished in the beginning and the, the time of the, the school calendar by no yeah. fault of ours, you know. So if we can recapture some of it now, then it'll yeah, be a absolutely. win. It'll be a win, you know, really. Well, and these kinds of things always then um, generate new questions, you know, questions that we forgot to ask or that something led something. It's getting out of the top. Yep. Um, okay. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Everybody? All right, so I like it. So we have less people on the committee now. Just, just well, Peggy hasn't been able to. I know and, that um, I talked to her. Right, and then um, Jeff, I think. Well, what's his name? Jeff. 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 Yeah. Jeff is no longer employed in the district. So. Ouch. He's resigned. Hmm. I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, they I don't moved. mean to suggest anything. I okay. Just no, it's it just he's not here. He's not something. here. He's not she here. She also left. Yeah. They yeah. She has. They, 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 yeah. They, she did. Yeah. So holy moly! But um, but yeah, I think everybody. I mean, I would hope that folks would also write down the seventeenth or no, not seventeenth, fourteenth of October, the the fifteenth, the board meeting because mm. you guys the presentation. Not Shoot. It down. Because <laughs> you like to all there. come to Cody, Wyoming. It's very nice that time. So it's it great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh. The 15th all right. is the Tuesday, yeah. Does it look right in your calendars? Did you get the right invite? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Thank you. Well, wait, it says merger. Is Thank you. Right? That's all I wrote. And, okay. Uh, and, uh, Merger committee. We're merging. Uh, what are we calling? <laughs> Task force. <laughs> no. Task like force. We have a lot of ready helicopters to, or something. I know. Uh, and come down on those send lines. Yes. Send <laughs> in the troops. All right. We need a. We need a adjourn. adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Sec yeah. Okay. Okay. Aye. Bye. 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 Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.